Here we are looking at a Allegro Red 340 38 LL. And we're at the FMCA International Convention. And look at some of the pins on the outside here. You can see right now, this is a propane tank with a little storage above there. You can feel the heat coming out here from the propane furnace. It has a straight rail chassis you can see. Actually, there is a little storage below and a little storage above. It's actually got a little carpeted section on top of there. There's a central vat there as well. Here is your fresh water tank here. Here's some, some your batteries here, a little more storage here, and finally your last bay here. You have some electronic controls there and a little tiny storage bay there. Here is your Truma hot water heater. And here we have the refrigerator access in the rear. Here's your external TV with sound bar. And you can see, this is the color here. It's a beautiful paint job. Okay, you see your paint. This is the 50th anniversary paint stitch team here. Now we're gonna go inside. We're gonna close the door behind us. And look who it is. It's Marie. It's, yeah, and it's actually nice and warm in here. And I got this big, heavy jacket on. I cannot believe we found a coach of tea. It is so nice. Ooh. Anyway, we have cabinets up above the uh, cabin here. We do have this one, which has have a magnum inverter right there. Right. This, these two here next to it are both empty, so they are storage. They are fixed shelves in them. And are these any connected? They are pass. not. This one is here, okay, and this one is not. Are they pass through too? There you go. And then you have two cabinets above the door and the co-pilot seat. And you also have, over on the other side, so we need to, some more. To finish on these. I was just looking at it. And you know, it's kind of nice. You see so many of the dark browns and the grays these days and white. This is uh, nice to see something different and a little bit lighter. It's not my taste, but I kind of like it. Well, let's see. What do I have here? We have a dual monitors here, digital dash, mm -hmm. great liner chassis. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's that little down there, the little drawer there? Huh? The little drawer? It's a little drawer. What do you think it is? There you go. Oh, that, that is, is a little, little drawer. drawer. Wow. That's about four inches by about six inches. That is I'm not sure what you put there. Well, uh, here are some controls by the passenger window for the map light, floor light, and the passenger fan, mm -hmm. which is over there. And I'm used to a slightly bigger camera. They have uh, two here. Slightly Radio bigger monitor. Yeah, here. bigger monitor. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, it's a camera, too, so that's technically correct. Well, it's not a camera, honey. But it does show pictures. Yes, but that's a monitor. Ooh. Ooh. Man, you're giving me a hard time this morning. That's the cold effect. Okay. This is the uh, dinette area. There are, if you look down the whole row, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's, nine cabinets. Let's open them this, all up. Some of them are interconnected, some are not. And now Ben's going to make me go down the row. And shoot them all. Now, let's see. Now, here's a little quick pass. A all quick the storage pass of space. All the storage above the dinette and the couch area. This literally goes, give them a view of the dinette to the couch so they can see what they're looking at. And this is actually looks almost like a, this obviously is a sleeper section. It almost has the look of a dual theater like, seat in here. It almost looks that way, but I do not think so. I think that is the theater seating over there. Right. And this is probably the bed. I think this is a trifold sofa or a J sofa. Let's see. Probably a trifold. Yep. See there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So a trifold. It's a little heavy. Right. So Okay. Close so these cabinets here. So you see the you've seen the dinette area and you've seen the the side of the coach. We're gonna go on the co chair captain's chair here. And we're in the kitchen area. We have two large cabinets here with adjustable shelves. I actually like that. That's pretty deep. That's probably about 18 inches deep, folks, and uh, quite tall. I like that. Very nice cabinet. And here's our, our Tipton sign. Happy Trails, Ben and Judy. And it was signed just 350. Bob and Judy. Bob and Judy. Why did I say Ben? Just because you're Ben. Because I'm Ben. <laughs> yeah. And it was signed on 315 of 23. So, wow. 
That's just a couple days ago. Yeah. I did get the pleasure of meeting him very briefly. That's what I call a fresh tote. Yeah, really. Anyway, here's two more cabinets above the microwave or convectionary oven. And here is two more cabinets on the side. Down below, we have our nice countertop. We got these big windows. This one does not have space for spices and all. Some of the coaches has that little space between the window pane. This one does not. It does have a double sink. Actually, it's one farmhouse sink. No, it's not farmhouse, but it's stainless steel. Farmhouse tells, comes out like that. Ah, okay, stainless steel sink, folks. As the uh, kitchen decorator. Okay, okay, I guess we can't really count how many remotes, but there's well, a few in there. It's a basically cutlery drawer right here, and I just mm -hmm. mainly put this other that is fixed in, in place, uh huh. Fixed in place, and that they have some. And you've there. got four doors here, and they all are similar. They're about two feet deep, so not bad. Oh, and surprisingly, and this, this could definitely be. A, oh, that's self closed. Look at that. This nice. could be a a uh, well. The one on the bottom's a little bit. Does that actually come out the bottom of the bottom? Yeah. Is it, this almost we see only usually these type of drawers in a in a pull out pantry. Mm -hmm. Typically, to put one there. But. Nice stuff clothes. This is under the sink. You have a large garbage can down there as well as some supplies. We do have the gas top stove. And below it, there are three cabinets. A sm one smaller one. Three cabinets? Three drawers. We'll edit that out. <laughs> yeah, you can leave it. Funny. Well, People, is we're real. We're it's real. A, it's important to know the difference between cabinets and drawers. It, it is. Drawers you wear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there are four <laughs> more drawers. We get along really good, folks, and we joke a lot, so uh, we hope you're enjoying it. If you want us to be a little more serious, let us know. But in all honesty, our intent is to show you the coach. So this is the refrigerator. As you can see, it's covered with the same finish as the cabinet, so it's kind of hidden. And it's got these really neat little locks here. So you just pull it this way and open your fridge. And there's your fridge. And then directly below is... That's definitely different. It's got, yeah, it's got three drawers down here. One, two, and the third one. Is that your ice maker there? That might be the ice maker. That's a good guess. I think so. All right. Well. Now, the interesting part, I don't know if there's a way to keep these open or if you have to move them every time you want to get in the refrigerator. I think you have to move them every time. Yeah. So I don't know if I like that part of it, but I, I do like the nice little easiness of, but it's shut, you know, and you'll have to worry about it. How many times have you gone down the road? I know we have. We start driving like, oh, dang, we forgot to light the refrigerator and everything. So uh, that's kind of nice because you won't forget. Next to the refrigerator are our two pantry. One is a two shelf on the top, and the bottom is a pull-out pantry. So you have plenty of storage space there. A little narrow, maybe three inches. And these two shelves are adjustable. Right next to that, you do have a cabinet with uh, an adjustable shelf. You have your TV set, your sound bar, and your fireplace. Now, I don't know how the view is. It's kind of on an angle. Let's see, I'm going to sit on this sofa. This one works. Let me sit on the far end over here and check it out. Ah, this isn't quite as good, but if, you know, we're living in it, it's just the two of us, we'd be over in the other two seats, but it is acceptable and you can see it. Well, maybe we can way to turn the microwave into a TV and that way it would be no problem. Oh, cool. The things you come up with. You know, basically you have this available surface. This could be a TV set. And if it do as, as a microwave and a TV set. Okay, why don't you invent such a creature? I'm sure the RV industry would appreciate that. Here is our half bath. It's kind of small. Ben, I'm going to let you go in there and show it. Okay, well, here we have a big vanity here below the sink here. I'd say it's at least 12 inches deep, or like 14, I think. Don't have my handy dandy tape measure. But here is the medicine cabinet right here. And this is about a hand deep. And a little handy dandy toilet, nice little mirror on the side. And we're going in the bedroom now. This one that I'm not crazy about here is I'm not really a very big guy. And this entrance here is just literally almost shoulder to shoulder for me. Huh. I mean, here, Let show, me, uh, show the viewers what we're talking about. All here. righty. All right, Ben's yeah. standing in the doorway here. I'm going to turn the camera around. So and you see. I'm here. I'm just basically. Yeah. There's not a lot of space. I feel yeah, like Ben's I'm about, squeezing through the entrance. Yeah, Ben's about 200 pounds, so 
you can kind of see that that is a narrow doorway. Okay, over above the bed, we have four cabinets and they are divided in the middle. The first two and the third and fourth ones, you can interconnect, put things between them. Now, amazing, how did she know that, folks? Because I treat it when you were in the half bath. Okay, <laughs> next, next there you got a small nightstand, you've got your charger, and you've got a small door here with a yeah. shelf in it, believe it. No, that's not a shelf, it's the, just a I think the up. hinges are bigger than the storage space. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. And at the time, I had time, I like the, uh, the, the uh, headboard here, a nice little wood finish there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Although I'd be kind of worried myself, probably very little chance of having the sharp corners on either side. Yeah. And there is another nightstand identical on the other side. Right behind you, Ben, is the wardrobe. We've got mirror doors. Yeah, we got our one. shelf. That's a nice size closet. Yeah, you actually could put a dress in there. Not a long dress. We could put a dress there without it getting wrinkled, which I like. the same on the other side. Plus yeah, they're identical on both sides with a couple of drawers in the middle. They are uh, only about a foot uh, long in depth, so they are tall, but not a lot of room from front to back. All right, what about the ones in the middle? They okay. I think these are bigger, right? We do have two in the middle, and they are also about a foot maybe even 10 inches from front to back, but they are long, probably two and a half feet. And the bottom one's about the same? It's identical. Uh -huh. All right, let's go back okay. to the rear bath. Okay, let's check out the rear bath. And there is a step up here. Yes, I hate the step ups. And that's just my personal being mobility impaired. Um, you know, everybody looks for something different in a coach. I mean, it's not a big thing, but I'm afraid I'll wake up in the middle of the night and trip over it. Anyway, washer and dryer behind a sliding door. Interesting enough, folks, there's a lot of people that come to these shows. Yesterday I was in one of the Tiffins and uh, somebody actually tried to pull it open and took it off the track and they had to repair it and fix it while I was here. I just, they, were trying to, they were trying to pull, pull it open, right. right. It does say slide right on it though. Now is that a laundry hamper behind there? We were going to find out. Well, there's wires in there. I don't think I want to put well, my laundry in there. not meant for laundry though. Yeah, it's just an enclosure for some wires. Just for, just for some access. There's your toilet. Mm -hmm. And over here is your vanity. It's a one sink. You do have a medicine cabinet. Well, part of a medicine cabinet over here is uh, fuses and such. So well, you this, I'm sure this is a little access panel. Sure. Access panel. I don't want to rip that off. Yeah. You got you got about five inches and the bottom one, and it obviously fixed and up. Here we have a pull out. Pull out, so you can put your shampoo bottles, your pills, and all there, which would probably be very easy, and you can reach all the way to the back, which I like. The shelves are adjustable. And we also have some additional drawers here. The drawers, okay, let's go to the drawers. There is one, and there's two, and they all soft close, in case I haven't mentioned, I think I did, but. Then you have under your uh, bathroom cabinet. Interesting, it's carpet in there. Yes, keeps things from rattling. So right. Ben, what do you what? think of the shower? Well, what, let's tell them here first, I guess. Okay, we can do that. Okay, so we do have a closet here. A linen there closet. are two adjustable shelves. And There's three we have more drawers. One, two, and three adjustable mm -hmm. drawers. There we go. And all soft clothes. Look how, what a kind of like front here inside. Okay, let's all close them together. Whoa, how's that fun? Okay, now I'm into the shower. Well, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, funny thing, if, if, if this was a know, taller, a... it'd be like a porthole. I could sit there and say, ooh. Okay, this is actually how it looks straight on, folks. I mean, I'm actually trying to crouch down, leaning on the. Uh, the sink base yeah. in here so this I can is, get him. This would be very interesting to take a shower. I mean, the shower head's about a foot down below my head. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly why. Well, I, I don't like this, the fact they have a towel bar inside the shower. Yeah. That, that's a little weird. I, it would be handy after you went to the pool or something, but uh, with a bathing suit or something. Yes, but I don't like the bathing suit. Yeah, well, you're, upon my space. Yeah. But yeah, the, I mean, uh, the drought bar is way down too low for me, but I'm taller than average, so. Um, so, how do you rate this shower? I rate this shower as a thumbs down, at least from my perspective, the fact that I feel like I'm looking outside the coach inside the skylight fixture. Uh, and you know, there's some little surface imperfections here <laughs> in this way this is, you know, so right here it's not, it's kind of not yeah. very smooth. Um, and moisture that probably collected it on the inside here. Yeah, I don't like about that 5% of the population would recognize that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, this is uh All right. But folks, also, I'm going to uh, take a second and step into the shower here. It is a little step up, but I am 5'9", just to give you a better perspective. And, uh, you know, obviously, 
fits me fine, maybe six foot. So obviously it is what it is. Well, I would like to say that thank you all for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And always remember to open the doors to adventure. And start all your journeys with the RV Keys. Have a great day.